So for today, we're going to be looking at what Ada is offering. This is going to be a little bit different than usual videos just because the armor she is selling is not a full set. This is more like three class items and two of the Forsaken pieces. So we will go through each of the classes individually so that way you guys can see what they are because I do not feel like grabbing footage for all of these when most of the time this doesn't happen. And if it happens again, then I'll just show you all of it even then like it just wouldn't be good because then i would still have to do it by class uh well either way we'll probably just look at it uh for the shaders we're gonna be looking at sato tribe this is the best shader from that whole season and if anyone wants to fight me they're more than welcome to because sato tribe is the best shader and i'll explain why in the end of the video because sato tribe is indeed the best shader it's super dope we have New Pacifica Rush, which is from Titan, if I remember correctly. Actually, let me see. You, yeah, this one should be from Titan, which is a. Uh, I'm when when I say Titan, I legitimately mean the the planet Titan, which is not available. Hopefully, it comes back next season with season of the deep. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, not a bad shader. I mean, I will never wear it, but I shouldn't say never. But like, it would be weird of me to use this. Let me just say that. And then new monarchy regalia which i feel like we just saw last week but it's probably a different one this is a dope shader man i really wish they just bring the other uh new monarchy shader because there's another one that we're missing it's the purple one I, th I think uh but this is still a good shader i really do like this shader as for the armor we're going to start with the chest piece which is the scorned baron vest this is the scorn inspired chest piece that every class got every class got a scorn inspired set for the chest piece so we will look at the titans and the warlocks in a bit but for the hunters i think i'm not gonna i'm gonna be real with you i'm not the biggest fan of it um you could definitely do some cool shit with it i just would never do it not only that i think we do need a little bit more pieces uh specifically scorned inspired pieces for me to be, feel comfortable using this even still you can definitely still use it with the pieces that we have currently just because you could do that but yeah not a big fan of it uh whole shot cloak this is a cloak from that's wrong this is from vanilla destiny 2 if i remember correctly um or it might be forsaken either way yeah i'm not a big fan of a lot of these cloaks just because they look really fucking basic and kind of samesy so that's why i'm like going through them this is definitely from forsaken memory of Cade cloak and i'm not the biggest fan of this cloak just because they use the model from um io and i'm not really a big fan of that model to begin with so i immediately was like okay cool so i'm gonna just gonna ignore this and this helmet which is super gross not the biggest fan of this shader or this helmet i'm gonna be real with you guys i just uh, you know I, I don't know what they were thinking with this one i'm just i just question it like why like i look i look kind of dumb as for titans we have the scorn baron plate which is really cool because i actually have the ornament for it which is super super cool so if you are interested to do a scorned look then you're definitely going to want to go for the titans just because again this chest piece is super cool and this ornament's really cool unfortunately this is an old ornament so you might have to get lucky with it unless you already have it then good. that's good but i don't even think this is in the store at least i didn't see it in the store so unfortunate we have the marks which is i only like one of them this one is not one of them. Uh, Mark of the Colliders. It looks fine. It's just it's just a towel, bro. The only unfortunate part is that like, yeah, it's just a towel. Um, we have Air the End, <clears throat> which again, it's just a towel. Don't think too much about it. It's it's literally just a towel. And then Memory of Cade Mark, where this one, it's kind of unfair because I should just call this a towel as well. But I actually use this one quite a bit when it comes to like fashion stuff, especially for casual looks, just because it's one of my more favorite things to do. And the packs right here also is a good touch, in my opinion. And then we have the Toro Bottle Celebration Mask, which I'm not the biggest fan. I've seen some people do some really cool like um, Black Panther themed looks, but I'm just I've never been a big fan of this mask. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks with the probably the best Corned Baron chest piece ever. Just because I've made this with multiple sets. It's super fucking cool. I just personally love it. There's no, nothing wrong about it. I uh, love the chains around it. And you, you mean shaders really well, thankfully. Like, it's so fucking cool. Like, 
yeah, definitely one of my favorite chess pieces for the Warlock, especially if you want to go for something wild. Um, we have Tethering Void. Yeah, yeah, just the Metal Bond. We have the Beyond, which is just what we just saw, but purple. And then Memory of Cade, which this one's not great at eat, like at all. And then probably the worst helmet I've seen the Warlocks get. Yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. It looks it looks pretty trash. Like, I'm gonna be real with you, man. I'm sorry whoever designed this. Uh, I, I have, but I'm not trying to say like you're terrible or anything, but the thing you designed is just not good. That's what I'm saying. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully I don't have to do this again. If I have to do this again, I will probably just have the pictures up because I hate doing this. It takes way too long. And this is another reason why I don't like doing Zer videos anymore because it just takes way too long to go to each class. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was going to, I was going to explain why, uh, Sato tribe is the best shader. And I don't want people thinking I pussied out. So, so this is why I like this shader for Sato. It looks super cool. I think this looks super dope and I definitely would wear this probably switch out the helmet for something else. Probably the electricity helmet thing. I think I made that look with this exact look, but this looks super cool. You switch to like house of Marin and then you just get like this cool red and gold for sure. But then like you have this yellow, you'll get this yellow. That's super terrible. Thankfully it doesn't have that on this, which is surprising. I actually might use house of Marin on this set just because it, again, I don't see any of any of the, that annoying yellow that you usually get on cloth where again, let me see. We'll do this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so yeah, you guys can see that yellow, uh, which is super terrible. I just think that's such a terrible shader or color because yeah, it's more of that. And it's just unfortunate because we could have had this and this looks super fucking cool. Um, and then we get to fucking Rasmussen and it's the same fucking thing, bro. It, it, like, I don't know who designed it, but they just thought, you know what, man, I'm going to put my mark here with this shitty yellow color. And that's why I don't like Rasmussen or House of Marin because they both have that gross yellow. You know what doesn't have that? It's fucking Sato Tribe. Sato Tribe has this cool, like dark color. That's why Sato Tribe is the fucking best. Now, there's probably some people telling me, well, what about refurbished black armory one? I'm not, eh, it's fine. It looks kind of boring, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, Berguzian, super dope. Unfortunately, uh, and this is a big, unfortunately, actually, uh, that color right there. This is the off color, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, Berguzian. Not only that, but on cloth specifically, it looks pretty terrible. Um, which is why I'm not also not the biggest fan of it. Midnight Smith. You could, you could, you could tell me the, like, there could be an argument for this one being the best shader because it is a really good black and red, but that also is the downfall because people will give you shit because you're wearing a black and red shader because no one in destiny two can just put on a shader that's red and black and never be fucking assaulted because, oh, you're a red and black shader kind of guardian, huh? Oh, you must be so unique. Her people need to get over themselves first and foremost. But that is the stigma you are going to be facing if you go for a red and black shader. Um, and then any other shader just doesn't really come close. Gambit Duds is pretty cool with this set. But uh, Iron Strength also pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I'm not saying it's great. I'm just saying it's pretty cool. Um, no. And then New Age Black Armory, it's kind of the same thing. Black and red. Uh, people are just going to give you shit for it. So that's why Sato Tribe is the best because not only is it a dope color, not only does it not have a shitty color, not only will you not get shit for it because it's not red and black, but it's the best color. I don't know what to tell you. Sunrise Warrior would probably be the only other shade where I'm like, that's a cool color. I never wear it because I can never find anything to pair it with, but it does look cool. Um, but so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Bye.